So welcome back to the metagame with Oni Black Mage. We're going to be finishing up Park Row right now. Picking up from where we left off, right outside the Monarch Movie Theater. The next riddle is actually right around the corner. Just run down the stairs, take a right. And at that shop right before the dead end, that is the riddle. The next few of these are going to start shooting off pretty quickly since in this part of the city they're all very tightly clustered. The next one is right on top of the building, just a little bit behind it. What you're going to see is an air vent that's uh, right next to this Riddler globe. So just jump to the adjacent building. And what you need to do is actually guide a remote battering through that air duct and hit the question mark on the inside of that cage. Nothing too fancy with the flying, so just make sure you're a little careful turning the corner. Remember, you can always slow down the flight speed. So up across, pick up a Riddler trophy. Jump across the alleyway. You notice there was a little mark from the Watcher down there. Jump down this alleyway, jump over the uh, fence, and right behind here is yet another fence so you can just slide under and just grab another Riddler trophy. Nothing special, this one was just hidden out of the way. Now, this next riddle you can only have gotten if you've completed the side quest revolving the Mad Hatter. Otherwise, this area will not be unlocked to you. So, once you finish it, you can actually pick it up right then and there. But what you need to do is go back to the Riddler's uh, little hideaway there. And there's the dinner party. And before leaving, when you complete the Mad Hatter side quest, just make sure that you scan this little book on the corner here next to him weeping. And that's all for here. The next riddle isn't that far at all, just literally up and over this building up to our left. Dive back down, turn around, and you're going to see this uh, obviously overgrown plant coming out of a plant shop. That plant shop itself is the riddle. The next riddle is even closer, like I said. And they're just right, one right after the other. Turn around, and that dead end over there, that security confiscated goods vault, the door itself is the riddle. The next riddle takes a little bit of practice to get the hold of. What it is, is you're going to see a pressure switch that will lead and illuminate lights heading up to this Riddler trophy, as you see right there. The problem is, not all of them will light just by simply standing on there. It's something of a test your might, test your strength sort of thing, where you have to hit the pressure switch with a certain force. The only way you can get that force is by dive bombing directly on it, but in order to get enough force for that, what you need to do is get enough height. I find that uh, jumping off this gargoyle here off the bank and then aiming carefully will get you just enough force to illuminate that Riddler uh, question mark. And once it's illuminated, go ahead and just take out your battering, break it, and that'll bring your riddle. By this time your detonator should have recharged. 
I haven't exactly timed how long it takes the detonator to recharge or the disruptor, but uh, you're going to need two charges of it for this next one. I think it takes a minute or two, but uh, don't quote me on that. Anyway, once you have the mine disruptor ability where you can start disrupting uh, proximity mines, go ahead and break the two that are along this path here. Unless you're feeling really, really tough and just want to go ahead and uh, brave the explosions yourself. You know, the uh, good old fashioned way, using your face. Then go ahead and just collect your little Riddler trophy. Going back around the building, what we're going to be doing is jumping down on this little barrier of, I guess, trash, broken cars, whatever. This little artificial barrier. And you're going to see a breakable wall. Line up your line launcher from on top of here, bust it down, and inside is a captured riddle. And also a Catwoman Riddler trophy. You'll notice that along the way while we're doing all these, we pretty much unlock the ways to getting all the Catwoman trophies. So getting them, if you want to switch over to Catwoman and nab it, takes pretty much no setup work at all. Since they're all marked and pretty much along the way, it doesn't really need a guide to, uh, to show you where the locations are. Grapple on top of the building, and what you're going to see is the giant illuminated ace chemical sign. What you're going to do is center that and snap a picture of it. And that's our last riddle. You notice that glowing sort of uh, aura over there? What it is is a Riddler trophy inside what appears to be some sort of uh, little globe. You're going to see a couple of these REC motors that you can charge. The trick to this one is, is you need to set up the charges in the correct order to where they repulse that little uh, hamster ball up, out, and over to where you can collect it. So just take the time, experiment properly, make sure you have it repulsing properly, and shoot it multiple times. Make sure this one's set to attract, and there you go. The door doesn't open up, but you can actually still collect the Riddler trophy anyway. There you go. I actually kind of would have preferred a puzzle similar to this in the uh, game itself. We didn't really see too much involved use with the uh, REC, even though we used it multiple times as a weapon or, you know, per the combo. Speaking of which, there's another motorized door as soon as you drop down the alley from the previous Riddle location, and tucked away is a very simple Riddle trophy as the door closes up on our face. Right around here, you probably notice this, there's a Riddle trophy underneath these cars. Just slide under, make sure to collect as I get punched in the face, but I'm going to return the favor. Running around the street here now. Just turn the corner, you're going to see another uh, vent here that you're going to need to use a freeze blast grenades to cool down. And like usual, even though this looks like a ridiculously tiny slot, you can still slide under it. Top of the world! Back in front of the Ace Chemical sign. You probably noticed this Riddler painted gargoyle. It actually is a switch that unlocks over to your right an opening panel. What you need to do is be fast and dive down before the doors close and grab that Riddler trophy, which will unlock the doors again. And sets you up right in front of the next Riddler puzzle. This one isn't that complicated. What you need to do is wait till all five of these question marks are illuminated and hit the far right one. Just manually set up a battering and kind of time it to where as soon as the fourth one illuminates you throw your battering and it hits the fifth one just in time, just like that. I 
Alright, at this point we're going to do a little bit of backtracking because once again I uh, missed one on my first sweep. But uh, even though it looks like it's all the way across the city over there, as you can see per the marker, nothing is really that far in the city. Make sure to make these trips a lot faster that you completed the uh, augmented reality trainings to get the accelerated bat grappling device, because otherwise, especially completing things like the Zaz challenge or even just getting around the city in a decent clip, you know, you're really going to want that. The ability to glide around the city just continuously is such a useful tool. The fact that you can get it pretty much right after you start the game, right after becoming Batman, you really need to make that your top priority. But anyway, you saw another one of those rooftop huts and we decrypted it and grabbed the Riddler inside. And we're going to backtrack all the way to behind the church again. That was the uh, remote battering area. Crossing over some familiar ground here again. Like I said, make sure you plan your route a little bit smarter than I did on this first run through. I definitely will uh, make sure to note that. This one looks like another gun turret area, but actually it's an electrified area. One which you can knock out with your REC blast, um, just disrupting the little uh, circuit box there. So we didn't have to wait for our disruptor thing to recharge. So just a quick shot, make sure you nail that. Neutralize the electricity, blow up this little wall. And grab our Riddler trophy. We are almost done. The next two are right next to each other, but they're way over here in the docks area. way over here just constitutes a 10 second flight path. Alright, so tucked around the corner here, in this little nook, you're going to see more illuminating question marks. This one actually isn't that complicated. Um, they're going to keep appearing in sequence. The sequence doesn't really matter. The point is just destroy any illuminated ones as soon as they come up. So you can just sit here and just keep quick firing until all five are disabled. Or you can be like me and just try to counter time it and be slow in some of them. I'm sure you'd probably just be able to wildly flail a little bit better than me. Come on. There we go. Alright. Little reflexes there. So, one last trophy. It's literally right around the corner here. What you're going to do is uh, look down at the water. And you notice off into the next to those little chains, those little grapple points, is the last roller trophy just sitting there floating in ice. So, what you're going to have to do is, like before, create a freeze blast sort of um, little platform, little ice platform there. Jump down, grapple over. And with your block of ice raft, just get a little closer and collect the last trophy for Park Row. There you go, done and done. Let's just check the little completion screen here and we'll verify that that is all of the Riddle and Riddlers, or yeah, Riddler trophies of the area. After that, very simple. Well, I'm glad you uh, found this Park Row guide useful. What we're gonna be doing is hitting the next areas now. So just make sure to stay tuned. This is uh, the metagame with Oni Black Mage. Good gaming, OBM out.